East lecture will start in the next 45 minutes. It's being presented by the tech entrepreneur Strive Masiwa, the founder of the company Econet. He's expected to discuss tackling corruption in the public and private sectors. Masiwa is also expected to examine the issue of rebuilding trust in institutions. Our reporter Bulalani Phillips in the Cape Town City Hall, just ahead of that lecture, he joins us now. Bulalani, good evening to you. What are we expecting tonight? Well, uh, good evening to you, Stephen, and uh, to the viewers. Of course, uh, we are coming to you live uh, from the Cape Town City Hall. Uh, this year's venue uh, for the ninth edition of the Desmond and Leah Tutu Foundation Peace Lecture. Of course, uh, as you've said, uh, the lecture will kickstart at about half past seven tonight, uh, and you can stay tuned to SABC News as we bring you that uh, lecture live. Of course, uh, in the past, uh, we've seen uh, people like... Uh, President Cyril Ramaphosa giving a lecture last year reflecting on the 20 years uh, of uh, you know, the adoption of the TRC report and of course previously we've seen uh, academic and author Professor Patrick Lumumba also you know, being a guest speaker and part of this uh, series of uh, lectures and uh, of course another noteworthy person that we've seen in the past uh, delivering a lecture is former United Nations Secretary General Mr. Kofi Annan of course uh, as we reflect uh, on tonight's uh, proceedings I'm going to bring into this conversation the chairperson uh, of the Desmond and Leah to do a uh, legacy foundation uh, Mr. Nicholas Matzeke. Good evening, sir, and thank you so much for your time. Thank you. The decision to invite this tonight's guest, how did you come about? Well, he's a brilliant man, and uh, he has done some great achievements. Um, I think it's uh, highly appropriate and it's important. Uh, if you think of peace, is what we're looking for. That's what we want. Then violence and unrest is its enemy. And the reason for most of the unrest, if you look even in our country of South Africa, it has to do with poverty. And poverty has been created, unfortunately, by a lot of corruption. So we have to get rid of corruption. And we have to address it. And we have to do it again and again. And I think that hearing it from someone that comes from the business community and is deeply, deeply rooted into human rights, it is a brilliant way for many of us to get inspired, and that's why we're here. Of course, in the South African context, we have this ongoing state capture commission that is investigating allegations of corruption. Did you take the decision to make this year's theme uh, fighting corruption both in the private and public sector deliberately? Well, it was a deliberate decision, absolutely. Um, unfortunately, it would have worked uh, just as well two years ago, four years ago, eight years ago. Um, uh, but it is important to address it, and I think now is a perfect time. Lastly, before I let you go, um, if you look at uh, the issues that uh, you've given him as a brief, uh, what do you expect him to touch on? Well, I, what I expect is not uh, what's interesting. I think he is uh, a man of full of surprises. He's highly charismatic. He has uh, been working all around the world. I bumped into many of his great initiatives. Um, Carbon War Room, the fact that he is bringing uh, youth out of um, uh, you know, misery in the days from HIV and AIDS by educating them. He has done so much that is far away from business. And I think what we're going to see today is that leadership, it is not necessarily for politicians only, or if you are a leader of a religious uh, group, or if you're a businessman or a rock star, you can use your power platform. And it's up to you if you want to lead and what you want to do with it. And I think we're going to see today that Strive is full of surprises. Just uh, turning uh, attention to the 88th birthday of uh, Archbishop Dudu. What has he been up to today and how did he celebrate his birthday? I think he's been celebrating uh, quietly so far because I think he's saving his energy for tonight. But I mean, aren't we all blessed to have this great human being still around at the age of 88? And uh, I sometimes call him last man standing, not because um, of anything else, but the fact that he, he embodies moral leadership and I think we all need that more in uh, in our societies and it's highly inspiring so let's sing for uh, the Archbishop tonight. 
All right, thank you so much. Uh, Nicholas Matseke is, of course, the chairperson of the Desmond and Leah Dudu Legacy Foundation, giving us a rundown of what we can expect here tonight. Of course, I can see the room is uh, wow. beginning to fill up, and of course, uh, we will be bringing you that debate live at half past seven. Stephen, it's back to you in studio. Lulani, Philip, thank you very much indeed. All right, that will be coming to you later here on The Full View. More on that situation regarding a school in Sibber King.